Garden Health Watch, medical industry professionals are looking to new technology to decrease the amount of infections patients acquire when they're in the hospital. Purple Sun is a startup and the name of a potentially game-changing device that uses ultraviolet light to zap all the germs from operating rooms, stretchers, and more. And this method of disinfecting performs the work that would normally be done by a cleaning crew in half the time. Northwell Health System is investing in the technology and plans to use the invention in their hospitals. Luis Romo is the founder and CEO of Purple Sun, and Eric Feinstein is the investment director for Northwell Ventures, which has invested in this technology, and they are both here. Welcome, guys. Good morning, Thank Vlad. You. So, Luis, uh, how did you come up with the idea for this? Why did you come up? Because I've read a lot of articles, and it says that you had this dream of accomplishing something like this. Yeah, I mean, I spent a lot of time in the ORs uh, during my graduate program, and I just saw that we could do things much better, and we had the ability, the technology, and the research to support that initiative, and so we moved forward with that. Why did you name it Purple Sun? So uh, Purple Sun, it, the ultraviolet rays are violet and purpley, so uh, it's just clear, concise, to the point. Yeah, and, and, and so, Eric, what did you see in this technology that made it interesting for you from an investment standpoint? Yeah, so I, I actually decouple the, the investment in, in two parts. One, we have a strategic aspect to the overall mission at Northwell. So we'll only invest in technologies that enable and advance the overall strategy of Northwell Health. So hospital acquired infections are a major problem. Here, I, I say at, at domestically and nationally and, 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 and worldwide, they're, they're a major issue. Uh, we haven't found ways to really, to, to really solve that. We've made really good strides, but we haven't actually solved solve the problem. Uh, so strategically, it represented a really good fit. Uh, we also invest in, 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 in companies that have the ability to transform healthcare and earn you know, financial return that we can then put back into the system to buy new pieces of capital equipment, to fix leaky roofs, and, 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 and also enable the overall strategy of Northwell. So let's talk about uh, how Purple Sun exactly works. I mean, I think we all understand. I mean, I've used for many years uh, when I'm in the field in some countries a SteriPen, yep. which I put in the water and it disinfects the water and I can drink that water when I'm in places uh, where normally clean water isn't available. Is that sort of the same concept here? Yeah, so it, it's, it's the ultraviolet technology has been around for a long time and what Purple Sun is doing differently is how we're delivering that technology. So the what we call focus multi-vector ultraviolet, is, it, shoots rays of light in multiple directions on every single point of a piece of equipment. So in a 90 second cycle, you can disinfect an entire OR table or patient bed and be ready to go for the next patient. Wow, and so let's talk about what the cost would be involved for a hospital, for example. I mean, bringing in a cleaning crew is one type of cost. And how much does this technology cost to implement it vis-a-vis -vis or versus, I guess, the, the cost of a cleaning crew? So, and, and I'll, I'll let you jump on this one. I, I'd say we're in the early stages of the development process and, and finding out wh what is, you know, the right price for something like this. And that's part of the involvement of Northwell Health and, and some of the benefit that, that we help provide these early companies is, is to help guide and, and, and create uh, new pricing models and strategies uh, for the companies. We hope, and, and our hope, and, and Lewis's hope, is that we advance this product and technology, and it's used universally in our system and across the healthcare landscape. Do you want to add? Yeah, of course. Uh, so we're going to be pricing this so that it's uh, competitive, but also compelling for a hospital to be able to acquire a large fleet of these devices so that they can actually uh, you know, attend to all the disinfection needs of the hospital. So it's going to be a low cost monthly subscription so that they can actually acquire five, ten machines at once as opposed to just one at a very high price. And everything we're doing with Northwell is trying to equate, you know, yes, there are benefits in both process improvement, you know, lowering infections, reducing time, all that stuff, and making sure that the ROI for the hospital is attractive enough that the price is, is a no-brainer. So it, it help me, because I'm totally ignorant when it comes to how the technology actually works, but um, what about, for example, nooks and crannies in some of the devices that might be easier that might be easier to clean if you're a human being as opposed to this device. Can it get into those little nooks and crannies? Yeah, so w it's important to separate cleaning and disinfection. So cleaning is always an important part of this process. Right, you don't want like 
<laughs> you know, toxic material exactly. or biological material exactly. that has to be cleaned. Right. You're so, talking about disinfection. Exactly. So when you clean something, you typically only clean a portion of it because you can visibly see that it's dirty. But what about the other remaining parts like the nooks and crannies? So that's where Purple Sun comes in. And with this focused multivector ultraviolet, it, it attacks all the different perspectives from tops to bottom. Mm -hmm. So anything that's exposed to the light from all the different sides will get disinfected. So it compensates for anything that was missed in the cleaning process. One of the things that I think people will be interested to know is because there's been a lot in the news about superbugs and how sometimes uh, those, even though you may disinfect a piece of equipment, people still get sick from superbugs. Is this, is this able to disinfect for that kind of bacteria? It's specifically designed to disinfect multi-drug, or kill multi-drug resistant organisms so that you prevent those superbugs from transmitting to different patients or equipment. Wow. So it's really designed to do that. Yeah. And so uh, how easy was it for you to make a decision when this technology was presented to you? Uh, I, it, simplifying it, you know, this was <laughs> this was a really simple decision yeah. in, in, in our mind. W when we first looked at the technology, uh, we had, a, a, I'd say, a pretty pretty low threshold at, from the standpoint of, of we, can this increase patient you know quality of patient care? If this saves one patient's life, this technology is worth implementing. Mm -hmm. And and the reality is, this kills this kills bugs, this kills viruses, bacteria, fungi. In a, in, a, in a really short period of time. So describe for our viewers what a typical, what happens in, a, in, a, in an operating room or um, in a hospital where they're not using this technology. So, and this goes to all hospitals. Right now, it's, it's a completely manual process of spreading these chemicals on as many pieces of equipment as possible in a very short period of time. So maintaining quality is a challenge. And when you're doing it by hand, there's just natural human error in that process. So when you implement this tool, it's now a parallel process. So you can clean things and provide this high level of disinfection at the same time within the current understandable and acceptable time limits of these turnovers and surgeries. So that's the most important part is time. Mm -hmm. How can we do things better and faster without compromising quality? And that's where Purple Sun comes in to help the staff member keep that quality high and speed up the process. Where do you see going forward as perhaps some other potential future uses for this technology? I mean, hospitals is one thing, but I'm thinking about for people that are germaphobes or here in a newsroom where we're constantly using, for example, this desk where multiple anchors will sit here. Um, are there other multiple uses that you foresee in the future? There, there's a lot of uses in, uh, you know, the cruise line industry, the agricultural industry. Cruise lines. The, so think of Carnival. Yes. Right? Think of Chipotle. Yes. Think of these these really big high value these are high uh, big problems right yeah. you have one recall on a product right or uh, take the uh, romaine lettuce right, right? Uh, I, th this just happened you have one of those these are big dollar problems isn't it easier though that opens up an interesting question isn't it easier to go to I mean hospitals the medical industry in this country yeah. is difficult and challenging to navigate isn't it perhaps a little bit more, a little more advantageous to just for example go to carnival and say you've been having all these problems you've been it's been reported in the news we have one way that we can you know sort of help you alleviate some of these concerns absolutely i and i'll and then i'll turn it over to you if if i the way i visualize this if you think of the market as a pyramid healthcare is the the top of that pyramid everything that we do everything that we purchase it's it's based on evidence and so we have to have a high degree of evidence in order to make that purchasing decision. All of these other industries don't have that level of, of, of rigor. So our view is if we can successfully penetrate, and obviously being with Northwell Ventures and being one of the largest integrated health systems in the country, we can help advance that mission through research, through product development. Uh, and, and if we can successfully attack and penetrate that and prove out from a research standpoint, we think there's applicability to a number it, of other areas. It would areas. strike me though that it would be uh, more challenging in the sense that using this product in the hospital where people are expected to get well, to get better, the challenge and the risk is that if it doesn't work, then you have a serious problem on your hand. If it doesn't work at, at Carnival or Chipotle, well, then the risk's already inherent in food handling. Does, a, does that make sense? It does, uh, and I'll, I'll, I'll say this. We actually view the downside risk as, as negligible because the existing process yes, doesn't yes, change. <laughs> this, is, this is mitigating the risk, adding additional protection in place to help standardize, as Lewis mentioned, standardize the, that human error. Uh, and, and, and if we can remove that, 
we've we've done our job of of potentially preventing again one infection. It's a simple equation. Right. If we can increase the quality of patient care and reduce cost, that's 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 our mission at the end of the day. My approach is I don't like to go where it's easier. I like to go where it's more difficult because then it makes you check all of your points of potential error and make sure that they're completely mitigated. And that's what we've done with Northwells, make sure that this is top of the line performance for top of the line outcomes. Like there is no room for error in the operating room, like you said. So if it's acceptable in the operating room, it'll be acceptable anywhere else. It's fascinating technology. Uh, Luis Romo and Eric Feinstein, thank you both for stopping by and talking thank to you, us man. about it. Really Appreciate interesting, it. thank you.